Hi, Fabrice here for another video. So here we are going to look at a problem and a solution, hopefully, uh, to do with substance plugin in, uh, well, which just with substances in general. All right, so let's, well, let's see what we've got to. Um, here I've got a very large surface. I don't know how many meters that is, probably maybe 15, 20 meters. And there is no visible tiling, right? So let me show you, you know, the, the, maybe this is a technique, I have to say, that can be improved on, but, you know, it's okay. It really gives us what we want. There's maybe a little bit of repetition that can be spotted, so it can be improved, but this is what we would normally get. So this is just the standard uh, material as it comes in. And we already with this one, we get much stronger repetition, right? If I take, I took a while to randomize the seed and to get a different seed, but you'll see that, you know, if I just sort of take an, a more common seed, there's very much repetition. So it took me a while to find one that was a little bit optimum, but you know, see, I'm sort of putting in different numbers. They've all got a very strong uh, tiling patterns, you know, some more than others. So I found this one, paste that back in. And so this one wasn't too bad. So what I've done is I've created a material function uh, again, um, I'm into material functions at the moment. They work very well. And uh, what I've done is made it so that we can um, yeah, so these are the material functions. <laughs> I forgot what I was doing for a minute. These are the material functions. So let's see, travertine. So the the <clears throat> initial material came from substance, just normal, you know, all the maps plugged into a normal material. So what I've done is instead, well, created exactly the same thing, but in a material function. So how do we do that? You create your material first, exactly as you want it, and then you go to materials and texture and create material function like that. And in in that, basically, you will just paste or create your material. That's the the material you've created. So that's exactly what I've done here. And so let me just delete this one, delete. And so we've got this, when you create your material function, as you've seen, you've got this output result. And what you want to do is create a material attribute or a make material attribute node. And just by make material attribute. Okay, and then that becomes your standard material and you plug all your things normally so this is ultra simple again i've got my tiling you know multiplying so that's just enabled me to well control my tiling <laughs> and and then i've got the three base maps normal roughness and base color okay that goes as a material function and i've put that called travertine B and no so that's travertine B and I've created the same one called travertine A. The only thing that does well they've got both have a parameter so this is tiling A. This is the material and this is tiling B. So the great thing about the material functions is that you then create a third material and so that needs to be set to use material attributes here you need to tick that 
which means that you are then going to be able to bring in your material function into here and plug that into here because this is your material attributes so then instead of just plugging it straight out we can then use a material layer blend so material layer blend, layer blend there's lots of them and you can just use it well I've just used the simple I haven't actually even tried the others yet but I'm sure they do uh, well what they say they do <laughs> and then we have the alpha okay so this is well we'll we'll go into the tiling parameters afterwards but the alpha is going to give us the way we are we will blend between these two textures so you've guessed it you know the we'll use different tiling parameters and different scales but um here we have a parameter that I've set that is multiplying the texture coordinate just like in here same thing and set into this grunge map all right so that's the grunge map I have found god knows where and on the internet or on my uh, hard drive and I've added a contrast parameter and also as usual a sort of a brightness parameter so that's what requires a lot of tweaking and so that's my material and I've got my instance material which is great because I have the parameters coming from the material functions that will come through to the material instance I hope that makes sense so I can change my tiling here and so I've seen you've seen I've done one which is half and one which is set on one so the tiling I think the tiles are four by four meters by default when they come out of the UV so and then these parameters are contrast multiply for the image and so that's the one that is quite difficult to see um, but it controls you see the mask so here my multiply is effectively one that allows me to switch between one texture and the other and you see that in both textures we have noticeable tiling patterns and then the other one noticeable tiling patterns as well so it's trying to find the blend in both where those tiling patterns are going to be repeated in a way which is not um which is going to interfere in a different way basically so we're kind of creating a third image uh, by tiling the two so what i have actually done also is exposed the maps for uh the in the functions so that these maps are parameters and that's done because or well it happened by chance because when you import the substance into unreal the material that's created has got parameter see the all these are parameter 2d already so they will be tweakable in the instance so that's really useful to be able to use different uh, to try different um, texture maps because what I've done here in fact I went back to substance and with a different um, random seed I generated different travertines so I've got two sets of different maps uh, actually hard-coded because here this um, this function here doesn't allow us to have two sets of maps to overlap onto each other uh, because I it, well it it could be done with the same and but obviously it will be much better if we overlap two different random seed versions of the maps or maybe even three or maybe even four uh with different masking and so i think that's worth while the effort to go through because 
Um, it really makes substances a lot more user friendly when used on large surfaces like this because as you see to just drag and drop it straight on um, really is not kind of you know, is not satisfactory so again I think this can really be improved a lot depends on your grunge map so and one thing that I will explore also in the future and unfortunately it crashes when I do it but we can here paint on textures so this all these little um, theoretically all these uh, repeating patterns could be erased painting on this mask or painting on, on a, an additional mask you know which would enable, enable you to choose one or two textures maybe even three using RGB anyway so I hope that is useful um, any questions please write in the comments